Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Golden Moments. I'm Bruce Howard. We take you back 20 years when the University of Tulsa played host to Oklahoma State, the Cowboys right here at Skelly Stadium. And like most games against OSU, Tulsa was the prohibitive underdog. But what happened that night was awfully special. Let's take a look. In early 1998, TU and Oklahoma State met for the 66th time in the longtime rivalry. Both squads entered the game 1-0, and both teams had optimism approaching the game at Skelly Stadium. We had Oklahoma State coming in, coming off a bowl the previous year, um, going to be at Skelly Stadium, night game, sold out crowd. Everybody was excited on our team. Uh, we had a lot of confidence going into that game, and our kids really believed in the game plan. What stands out most to me is, is, is I remember the week before. Uh, there are certain weeks where you, you feel prepared and you know you're prepared. And there was, a, there was a level of intensity that week in practice. It's an in-state rivalry. It's going to be a little chippy. You got a chip on your shoulder because, you know, no matter what we want to think about it, you know, we were Tulsa, they were OSU. They were supposed to beat us. They were supposed to come into our house. Uh, but we just weren't going to let that happen. And so Tulsa was ready, and it showed in a first quarter drive that resulted in the first score of the game, John Fitzgerald to Jeremiah Brister. I had caught a 37 yard pass, pulled myself out of the game. They inserted Jeremiah in, we were in trips right, we ran um, the smash route. Fitz kind of did a slight roll to the right, and Jeremiah made a fantastic move and was just wide open in the end zone. That kind of started the, uh, the boulder rolling downhill. I can remember looking at the sideline and, and having myself and, and Coach Rader looking and, and calling plays from the sideline and looking and, and knowing when, when he called the play, this is going to be a touchdown. Oh, this is, we're going to get a first down. Oh, this is awesome. So TU was rolling, and it continued later in the first quarter as Fitzgerald marched the Golden Hurricane down the field. Mind you, Fitzgerald was mostly a throwing quarterback, but then... I got a chance to run the ball three times in a row. And it was just kind of funny to me because he called it once and it worked. And he called it again. And then he called it again and we got a touchdown out of it. And I was just like, this is, it, you know everything's clicking when you just start smiling and you know everything's going to work. John scored uh, on a, a quarterback keeper that we called three times in a row with different looks. Fitzgerald takes the snap and he'll roll around the left side on the option to the five and into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa! John Fitzgerald on the same exact play. When John scored that touchdown, I think it attributes to his preparation and the, the game plan the coaches put because he called his own number three times. And it really made Oklahoma State look pretty bad because, I mean, I love John, but he wasn't the fastest guy. Now it's 14 to nothing, and underrated at that point is how well the Golden Hurricane defense is playing. The unsung story of that game is our defense. I mean, you have an Oklahoma State team that's coming off of a bowl, a lot of momentum, and they could not get anything going. It's as simple as everybody doing their job and everybody playing with the intensity of knowing what you have to do and being prepared. So having seen it in practice, the coaches preparing us, us knowing what we're going to be looking for, and then playing with a certain level of intensity, right? Defense isn't about one person, it's about 11 people. All 11 starters from Oklahoma, they all play with a chip on their shoulder and they played extremely well. There was an intensity in practice and there was a chip. Guys were not gonna mess around in practice when we're focusing on OSU. Uh, and when we walked out to that game, we all knew what we needed to do. With the defense shutting down OSU, TU's offense went back to work, scoring late in the first half on a Fitzgerald pass to Damon Savage. And it was 21-0 at halftime. The hardest thing to do in all of sports, in my opinion, is to sit on the lead. So going in at 21 to nothing at halftime, uh, you know, you worry about losing that intensity and that focus, but as soon as we come out in the third quarter and, and we start executing, uh, it, it felt like we had this game. So after the defense did its job, it was time to pound big running back Reggie Williams. Reggie's legs were about the size of tree trunks, and once, you know, he got going downhill, we had a fantastic, uh, fantastic offensive line, Brad Smith, um, Michael Rule, the entire crew, I mean, they did a fantastic job. First down and 10 for Tulsa at the 13-yard line. Fitzgerald will hand it off right side. Reggie Williams to the 10 to the 5, and he walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa. 
15-yard touchdown run by the big hurt, Reggie Williams. So the Hurricane went up 28 to nothing. And again, the defense is getting stops and turning the ball over. Tulsa gets the ball back and puts this one away. Fitzgerald's third TD pass was to John Mosley, and the Hurricane had a mind-boggling 35-nothing lead over the favored Cowboys. We look up and it's 35 to nothing, and I, I don't think that it really set in for me until really the, the final whistle had blown or until we got into the fourth quarter and realized that, okay, the, the game is ours. It's a fun time. Anytime that you, you beat anybody, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. But when you're, when you're playing an in-state rivalry and you have them down and, and you can kind of just, you can see it in their eyes. A sold-out crowd, in-state rivalry, at home, night game, in Tulsa. You know, you're up 35 to nothing. And to be able to sit back on the sideline and just absorb that while the game is still going on was, was very sweet. Our, our kids were just, they were so in tune, I mean, you know, they were just so in tune with the game plan. And you can't, you know, we just say, well, you scored a lot of points, but I mean, we shut them out. Our defense shut them out for three quarters. OSU got three late touchdowns to make the final margin 35 to 20, but it was a special night for the Golden Hurricane, especially their senior quarterback. I said after the game, there are a lot of good quarterbacks that played that day, none played better than John Fitzgerald. I'll still stay by that. Um, and people forgot too that John punted extremely well for us that game as well. There's certain games that you go back and you, you think about when you're, you're done playing and hang them up, and that being one of them that I, is it's one of my all-time favorites. It was tremendous to come home and uh, have a victory like that was was one of the most gratifying wins of my career. It, it was um, one of those nights everything came, it came together and we were all healthy at that time. And we can't say that for the rest of the season because we're going to lose, uh, you know, have some injuries that, that, that are going to hurt us. But uh, they, um, that, that night we had our team together and played like uh, we thought we could. The nearly every year nature of the series with OSU is no more. Since that game, the Golden Hurricane and Cowboys have played on the average of only once every four years. But back in the 90s, the yearly game was special, and it was certainly special for the Golden Hurricane in 1998.